New data shows uh, eight times as many women left or lost their jobs last month compared to men. Jason Berry looked into why. The new numbers out show the current health crisis is impacting working women more than men, and there are a number of reasons why. Heather Aguilar is like a lot of hardworking professional women in Arizona who aren't working as much these days because of COVID-19. The health pandemic has forced Aguilar to cut back hours at her Tempe salon so she can be home with her kids. Really, just finding a whole new normal is, is what we've had to do. I've had to cut back a lot on clients, which, I mean, that's my income, and having to rearrange schedules to be able to accommodate Zoom meetings and keeping on top of their schoolwork. This Valley mom has found a way to continue her career, but other working women aren't as fortunate. According to new numbers from the federal government, hundreds of thousands of women are leaving the workforce across the country. Just last month, roughly 617,000 women left their jobs, compared to only 78,000 men. It's that flexibility, adaptability. Michelle Pabis is vice president of government and community affairs with Honor Health. She says the balancing act between work life and family can be overwhelming when there's not a pandemic. So now, with so many kids home doing online learning and limited childcare choices, moms are not left with a lot of options. So a lot of times we had families that would help care for children um, so that parents could work. And maybe that's not happening because now, you know, grandma and grandpa shouldn't be around um, small children that uh, and potentially be at risk. And then obviously with kids not being in school, there are some child care um, options, but at the end of the day, you're trying to make the best decisions for your family and support your children in their own learning. Working moms are hoping once their children go back into the classroom and the economy turns around, their jobs will still be there. But it's no guarantee. Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.